In my last video, I spoke about the 4-star characters currently in Global that will be awakenable to 5-star in the future. Now I'm going to talk about some of the good 4-star characters that will always be 4-star characters. As far as we know, anyway. They can be useful to fill niches or roles you just don't have good 5-star characters for yet. I don't like to make really long videos for you guys, so I'm going to do this in two parts with 4 characters each. So off we go. First up is Vivi. Vivi is arguably the best 4-star character in the game. He has a unique ability called Dual Black Magic, which basically means he can use two black magic spells in one turn. So even though his stats aren't so great, he has access to uh, almost all the elemental spells, so Fira and Blizzara. They're not the highest level, so they're not Aga spells, they're Ara, but because he can use two of them in a single turn, it makes up for those uh, spells and four star stats. He can also use gravity and comet in addition to those uh, elemental spells. Then we've got Shantoto. Uh, Shantoto is another good magic attack option if you are lacking good five star characters. Unlike Vivi, uh, she does get access to all the high level spells in the game and really has better coverage than almost any character in the game, regardless of stars. She doesn't just have Firaga, Blizzaga, and Thundaga, but also Wartaga, Eroga, Stonega, and Byra. So she has a pretty much full elemental coverage there. Uh, the only thing that holds her back is her 4-star cap. So her stats, especially defense, won't ever be up to par with the 5 and 6-star magic attackers in the game. Then we have Anselm. Anselm is just about the best all-round character you'll find at 4-star. Uh, he is a fairly capable healer, a decent magic attacker, and an okay support character. He can inflict poison and also heal most status effects on allies. As with pretty much all the characters featured in this video though, his stats are just not up to scratch. And Edgar is the final character I'm going to talk about. Edgar is a pretty unique character in a way. He has a focus on physical attacks, but they all sort of have an added effect that we don't see much of. Um, for example, he has both a single target and AoE physical damage spell that uh, has the extra ability of ignoring the enemy's defense stat. Uh, he also has AoE physical abilities that deal damage and inflict status effects, like blind, and he can also inflict AoE poison as well. So Edgar is a pretty good utility physical attacker to have around if you just don't have better options at 5 star. Thanks for watching. Since this video is a couple of days late, it will be included in this week's giveaway, with the weekly giveaway winner announced tomorrow in a separate video. For your chance to win this week's giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber and then leave a relevant comment or answer to the question of the day. Which Final Fantasy did you play first? You can also click on the screen to check out some of my other videos, and other than that, I will see you all soon.